Hold on to your space helmets, guys. SpaceX is on a roll with their Starship test flight, zipping from one to the next faster than a speeding bullet, or should we say, rocket. The countdown is on, and in just one month, we'll be witnessing the fifth Starship flight. It's like SpaceX is binge-watching their own launches. So what's the deal with Elon Musk and his team's need for speed? They're not just shooting for the stars, they're making pit stops and coming back for more. Flight 5 is gearing up to be a wacky spectacle with upgrades that are more hush-hush than the latest iPhone release. Let's talk about the fourth test flight. This baby, Starship, is the Hercules of rockets, flexing its muscles on Thursday and nailing all its goals. Blasting off of their own backyard in Boca Chica, Texas at the crack of dawn, SpaceX turned X into the hottest ticket in town with millions tuning in for the show. The Starship isn't flying solo, it's riding on the shoulders of the Super Heavy Booster, which is basically the Hulk of rocket boosters. Out of 33 engines, 32 were like, let's light this candle, and off they went. About 50 minutes later, Starship started its homeward bound ballet wrapped up in a plasma light show. The heat was on, literally, as the heat shield got a fiery workout. Thanks to Starlink satellites, we got a VIP pass with a live stream that didn't quit, even when things got a bit toasty. A flap got a bit of a suntan, and some space dust played peekaboo with the camera, but hey, that's live TV for you. And for the grand finale, Starship nailed its landing burn right in the Indian Ocean like a mic drop in the world of rocket science. SpaceX has been trying to dominate the game ever since 2023, trying out new features, facing faults, malwares, delays and liftoff postponements. Early on, the interval between flights was long. SpaceX and its scientists needed time to actually find the problem, make the diagnosis, and then thunk of a solution that would put them back in the game. From the heat shield tiles breaking off to faulty test flights that didn't lift off, the struggle was real, just like Biden's to climb up a flight of stairs. Anyways, most of the issues of the rockets and the launch pad have been resolved now, with the minor ones to be catered after the entire research to the successful Flight 4 operations. While the world was busy covering the boost off of Flight 4 into outer space and hailing Elon Musk as the genius alien Earthlink making it all possible, Musk couldn't just keep the macho inside of him, and as he puts X to the right usage unlike Trump, Musk simply surprised everyone that Flight 5 is around the corner, and that too only a month. Elon Musk and the SpaceX crew are gearing up for an epic space sequel, Starship Flight 5. It's like they've got a need for speed, but in space. And with the latest upgrade, they're turning their spaceship into a cosmic Iron Man suit. First up on the upgrade list is the Starship's heat shield. Think of it as the spacecraft's superhero cape, protecting it from the temperatures that could melt metal faster than ice cream on a hot sidewalk. We're talking a sizzling 2600 degrees Fahrenheit or 1430 degrees Celsius for the metric folks. That's hotter than a dragon's breath, only the cool ones like Drogon or Smog. SpaceX's heat shield is a mosaic of 18,000 hexagonal tiles, kind of like a giant space-age jigsaw puzzle. These aren't your grandma's kitchen tiles, they're more like the ones that kept NASA space shuttles cool while surfing through flames on their way home. But even space tiles have their kryptonite. Some of them have been playing hide-and-seek during the test flights, popping off when they shouldn't. So Elon's solution? Make them stronger, tougher, and ready for anything. The new tiles are twice as strong and less likely to take an unexpected spacewalk unlike Hulk in Guardians of the Galaxy. And because SpaceX loves a good backup plan, they're adding a secret weapon under those tiles. It's a layer of something called silicone felt, a material that's not exactly runaway material but does a stellar job of keeping the ship safe if the tiles decide to bail. During the last flight, they played a game of what if by removing some tiles on purpose. It's like sending the spacecraft out without its armor to see how well the silicone felt could handle the heat. So, what can we expect from Flight 5? More thrills, more chills, and a spaceship that's ready to take on the heat of re-entry like a boss. So, my dear space geeks, it seems like SpaceX's Starship is getting more tune-ups than a race car at the Indy 500. We're talking about the kind of upgrades that would make even Tony Stark raise an eyebrow. First off, let's chat about the hot staging area. 
It's like the stage crew that helps with a quick costume change in a Broadway show, but for rockets. During the fourth flight, SpaceX tossed it aside to lighten the load, like throwing off a heavy backpack during a hike. But that was just a one-time deal. Now, they're cooking up a new design that'll stick around for the long haul, making Starship's quick getaways even slicker. Next up, Roll Control Thrusters. These bad boys are like the steering wheel for the spaceship, helping it land as gracefully as a cat on a velvet pillow. They're getting an upgrade to dodge those pesky problems like valve clogging, which is less Houston we have a problem, and more Houston we have a minor inconvenience. SpaceX has been tweaking these thrusters since their 29th prototype, and after the applause for Flight 4, they're not stopping there. It's all about making Starship the best in the galaxy, one prototype at a time. Now, let's talk engines. SpaceX has been streamlining these powerhouses, stripping away the complicated bits like unnecessary wiring and nozzles. It's like decluttering your house, but instead of old magazines, it's rocket parts. Despite their efforts, two engines played hooky during the fourth launch. But fear not, SpaceX is on it, working to make the engines as reliable as your morning coffee maker and as powerful as a superhero's punch. Upgrading the engines isn't a one-off, it's an ongoing saga from Raptor 1 to Raptor 3 and beyond. They're trimming the fat, simplifying and integrating, all to make the engines safer, faster to fix and more powerful. It's like giving the rocket a gym membership and a personal trainer. But wait, there's more. Remember Flight 3's oopsie with the clock filter? Well, SpaceX isn't letting that happen again. They've upgraded the fuel filter inside the liquid oxygen tank starting with Booster 11. SpaceX is keeping a close eye on these upgrades like a parent watching their kid at a playground. They're determined to make sure everything runs smoothly from the engines to the internal systems. Elon Musk is turning SpaceX's Starship into the ultimate space cowboy, complete with a shiny new pair of rocket boots and a trusty steed named Super Heavy Booster 12. This isn't just any rodeo, it's a space rodeo, and Booster 12 is looking to stick the landing with the help of a giant robotic arm called Mechazilla. SpaceX is betting on a 50-50 chance that Mechazilla will catch Booster 12 like a pro baseball player snagging a fly bale. Imagine Booster 12 soaring back, eyeing the ocean like a diver looking for the perfect spot to plunge. But wait, if it senses even a whiff of trouble, it'll take a dive into the sea, sacrificing itself for the greater good. Talk about commitment! If all systems are go, Booster 12 will strut back to the tower where Mechazilla waits with open arms. Literally. It's a bit like a game of Cosmic Cat. Will they or won't they? The suspense is interstellar. Meanwhile, Ship 30, Booster 12's partner in crime, is set to make a splash of its own. Thanks to some nifty upgrades to its heat shield, it's ready to survive re-entry like a marshmallow in a campfire, intact and ready for more. This dynamic duo is paving the way for Flight 6, where SpaceX plans to go full circle and reuse their massive rocket. And if you're worried about the launch tower stamina, don't be. Elon's confident it can handle thousands of landings. SpaceX isn't just shooting for the stars, they're planning a trip to the moon, Mars and beyond. With heat shields, engines and nose cones as their trusty tools, they're gearing up for an adventure of galactic proportions. It's a journey filled with twists, turns and a whole lot of rocket signs. But if anyone can make interplanetary travel as common as a morning commute, it's definitely SpaceX. The future is looking out of this world exciting and we're all along for the ride. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing updates.